160. He's gone. What's up, guys? Welcome to part two of Project Rutley. So here's kind of the clusterfuck I was talking about. They used a fuel line, and it's just kind of coming apart. And so what we're going to do is we're going to replace all of these lines. Um, and so there's like three lines that run to this thing. And then there's like another line, another two lines that come off of here and go down there. Go up to the oil cooler, come back down. Uh, and you can see this is just fucking fuel lines. So this is going to deteriorate with oil. So now that we've got the exhaust pulled off, we can uh, start fitting the lines. And you can see this is kind of a bit of a mess because... Whoever did this kind of half-assed it. <clears throat> Basically what we're going to do is we're going to re replace these with hard lines. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this down. Then we're going to make it jump over a little bit. Run on top of the frame. And then from here it'll come in a little bit. And then there'll be just a piece of rubber hose that attaches down here. So the way to do this without getting confused is to just remove one piece of hose. Install it. Do the next one. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about uh, forgetting which, which part goes where. I know it's a bit of a cop-out, but I ended up using uh, just standard hose everywhere with our, our nice new fuel injection uh, hose clamps. Uh, my, my bender couldn't get a tight enough radius to make some of the pieces, and uh, we're on a bit of a clock now, so I was just uh, decided to go ahead and get this all done. So now you can see everything is... There's our uh, pressure sensor for the rear brake, and there's the lead. So right now I'm trying to get uh, the wiring harness here in this back part of the bike cleaned up. And then once we kind of get done with this side right here, get the carburetor rebuilt, we can put the headers back on. So there we go. We got our wiring all tucked up in there. We got our rear brake light switch working, all the new oil lines. So we're basically done on this side. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull off this carburetor and clean it. Um, this stuff is pretty straightforward, uh, and as far as I can tell, it's just held on. There's one screw down in there. Be able to pop the carburetor off. I'm just going to take the bowl off, just take it apart, clean it real quick, pop it back on. Not going to do a whole lot to it. Uh, should be in pretty good shape, and that should be basically it for this side. We'll uh, can refill the transmission over here as well while the headers are off. <clears throat> now the guy I got this from claimed this carburetor was brand new. But it had a stripped out screw on the bottom of it, which usually doesn't come like that from the factory. And you can see there is a ton of this green algae stuff from ethanol and the gas in this. And there's a good reason that it wasn't running properly is because if you look at this, I mean, it's, it's really kind of a nasty mess in here. So we got the trans oil in, and then just for funsies, I'm going to see if I can cap it. It's so loud! It's so angry! got the rear block set got the rear axle in place now if I spin the wheel you can see it spins true got a nice solid amount of tension here remember this thing is uh, actually this thing is at full droop isn't it so we're gonna have to loosen that up a little bit because that's gonna be way too tight when the swing arm comes up forward but now we should be able to at least start it and run it and put it in gear
So yeah, you got five, four years. Bam.